Disability History, Panel 11, 1911 through 1921. Abandonment. Involvement by people with disabilities. Beginning of organized advocacy by people with physical disabilities. Little or no involvement by people with developmental disabilities. Euthanasia through neglect. Albert Deutsch. Medical Viewpoint As the United States entered World War II, many attendants at public institutions were drafted, leaving a shortage of workers. Enrollment continued to increase. The result was a much smaller workforce with greater numbers of inmates under one roof. Medical Viewpoint Some institutions put two residents to a bed and in hallways. Medical Viewpoint Inmates of institutions had no rights, no dignity, and no privacy. As the institutions grew in size, they became increasingly medicalized. Connection to Different Time in History A group in New York City called the League for the Physically Handicapped formed in 1935 and protested militantly against job discrimination in the New Deal program asserting that WPA, Works Progress Administration, policies which labeled them as unemployable because of their disabilities were highly prejudicial. They eventually generated a few thousand jobs nationwide. Connection to Different Time in History To make up for the shortage in workers, many institutions use conscientious objectors, Persons who refused to take part in warfare because their conscience prohibited participation in acts of killing. Many of these men kept records of the abuse they witnessed in the institutions and later reported their findings. Medical Viewpoint In 1948, Albert Deutsch wrote The Shame of the States, a photographic expose of the Letchworth Village Institution in New York. After decades of invisibility, persons living in institutions were again the objects of attention. Social Viewpoint The Depression era put a financial strain on all Americans, particularly those with special needs. Millions of Americans just wanted the opportunity to work. Connection to Different Time in History Though used primarily for labeling persons with physical disabilities, the term handicap has been applied to all persons with disabilities and became an increasingly popular term in the middle 20th century. The term does not originate with persons with disabilities begging for money with their caps in hand. It originally referred to a match between two horses in which the umpire decided the extra weight to be carried by the superior horse. Later, it applied to extra weight itself and so to any disability or disadvantage in a contest. With time, handicap assumed negative associations, in particular, that of the helpless victim. Medical Viewpoint In the early 1930s, John Daggy, age 4, seated in the center, hands together, along with his older sister, was sent to a large institution in Faribault, Minnesota. During his first day, he witnessed his sister receiving a lobotomy. Like many other residents of institutions at this time, John was admitted because of economic difficulties in his family. He escaped at age 18, going on to marry and raise a family in St. Paul. Connection to Different Time in History In the mid-1990s, John Daggy became involved in self-advocacy working with the Remembering with Dignity Project to honor those who lived and died in state institutions. Medical Viewpoint Out of 35,000 photographs of Franklin Delano Roosevelt at the Hyde Park Library, only two show him seated in his wheelchair. He went to great lengths to hide and overcome his disability. Reportedly, when the actor Orson Welles was dining at the White House, President Roosevelt said to him, You and I are the two finest actors in America. Connection to Different Time in History 
The idea of overcoming one's disability is still used as a popular appeal in fundraising campaigns.